everyone, and welcome to the future. My name is Chris Calabocas, and once again, we're coming to July from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those, and not necessarily in that order. That's right, folks, because today we're going to talk about AI and war. Smack that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, what do you think AI thinks are the seven top issues plaguing humanity? And I've already touched on a few of those already. I've, I've touched on education. I've touched on a number of others. And today we're going to talk, touch a little bit about, on war. And one of the things that was really interesting is that one of the things that AI came back with when I said, what are the top seven things that we have to concern ourselves with humanity? And it talked about nuclear proliferation and, 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 and warheads and weaponry and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, why are we talking about that when we should be talking about something even more fundamental than that? Even more fundamental than weaponry. Even more fundamental than, than weapons of mass destruction. I think we need to be talking about war, period. Now, I'm a libertarian, so my views are pretty commonly libertarian. I'm against war. I'm against all war. In fact, war is literally the last possible thing you can do. There's so much more you can do before war. Why aren't we pulling people together? In every war there is around the, uh, around the world, why aren't we pulling people together and having them try and talk it out first? Figure out what the problem is. Can we come up with some kind of compromise which will work for everybody? We know no one will be happy. But can we do something to try and reduce or eliminate the horrible tragedy of war. And I just thought it was very interesting that ChatGPT came back and talked about the weapons, but not about the people who wield the weapons, because that's who we need to talk about when it comes to war. How do we eliminate war? How do we have AI help us to eliminate war? And I'm not talking about wars that you must have. I'm talking about optional wars. And if you ask me as a libertarian, most wars are optional. They get to a point where they be, feel like they are mandatory. And we need to do something about it. But there's this huge period ahead of time, which is where war is optional. How do we get away from that? I think we were, we were, we were moving towards it. There was a certain point in time when things were getting better. I mean, if you look at all of the data around every single problem humanity had things were getting better and now we're making a turn for the worse and the question is why are we making this turn for the worse why are we suddenly looking at wars again why are we looking suddenly at splitting the world up why are we looking suddenly at making some humanity better than other humanity why are we still looking at that Aren't we more evolved than that? Don't we want to go beyond war? Don't we want to go beyond violence? Don't we want to go beyond strife? Don't we want to go beyond all these things? I don't know. Do we? Because if AI himself, itself is not giving me a solution to war, then I wonder, is it being programmed to say that? Is it being programmed to talk about minimizing war instead of eliminating war? Remember a couple episodes ago I was talking about aliens and how maybe they're all sitting back. Maybe the aliens are sitting back and they're observing us and they're watching us and they're going, these people are fighting amongst themselves. They're fighting amongst themselves and they're, they're, the, the fight is escalating. It's getting worse instead of getting better. We were just about, we were just about to go down there. We were just about to go down there and now they're escalating this fight. They're escalating this battle. They're creating tribes, a new set of tribes. We're devolutioning back into tribes again. And we're recreating these tribal affiliations and we're pitting the tribes against each other. Instead of us trying to use all of this wonderful technology that we've invented for ourselves to uplift humanity, we are using it 
to enslave ourselves, to put ourselves back into tribes again, to put us back into little pockets that are constantly fighting each other. Why are we doing this? Why can't we hold a higher vision in our minds of where humanity should be? And it should be humanity without war. It should be humanity without hunger. It should be humanity without homelessness. It should be humanity where everyone is respected and can make their own way in the world. Why aren't we looking at trying to build that kind of humanity? It's not the capitalist system. It's not the communist system. It's not the systems that are out there. It's us. We all need personally to make the decision that we are going to uplift ourselves and everybody around us, even our enemies. And maybe then, maybe if enough of us do that, then we can actually look at the end of war, the end of violence, the end of human against human. Human v. human is never a winning proposition. Never. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Mm -hmm.